So today we are on board of the new 52 Performance and Grand Soleil has been telling us a little bit about what an owner is looking to do with a yacht like this. But to understand the full picture, we also need to know about the systems on board. So I'm gonna have a little chat with Matt, the product director from B&G, about what they've got installed on board and how it helps owners to do what they love doing. So Matt, 52 Performance, beautiful boat, right? Yeah, stunning. Um, yeah, it's amazing, it looks great really nice yeah i had the chance to speak with the brand grand soleil and they were telling me it's a fast cruiser it's designed by matteo bolli and with nauta and it's something for people who want to get performance they want to sail and enjoy speed but at the same time as you can see it's a lot of space it's a lot of services refrigerators cabins lounging space a beautiful galley so it's a bit of a mixed mission right and she said, also easy to sail. So I guess that that comes into play a lot with the selection of equipment on board. Yeah, I mean, th there's a number of things here um, where we support the B&G system supports a boat of this type with the performance and the cruising. Um, I mean, fundamentally, it's from the, the displays, from the chart plotter to the instruments outside and the, the, the Nemesis display on the mast, they're all the same, whatever boat you're on. Um, they're all, whether it's a cruising boat or a performance or a racing boat, that, that's all the same. What makes the difference is the addition of a, a sailing processor and that's a product that is out of sight. It's usually installed somewhere behind, like for it, on this example, it's installed behind the chart plotters. So you don't see it. But what it's doing is it's, the, almost, I guess it's the brain behind a lot of the instrument data that you see on the, on the screens. Um, and then what that's doing is it's collating all the data from around the boat, from the wind sensor to the boat speed, to the compass heading, and other sensors as well that we've got on the boat, the rudder, or could even be a load cell on the rigging, for example. And all that data is coming into that, that central sailing processor. We're doing some advanced calculations on, on, on that data, which, and the, the, the fundamental purpose of having that processor is, is the, the, the calculating of all the, the wind data, which as a sailor is what you're, you're looking at. You're, you're interested in the wind, you're interested in the speed, the direction, um, and the angle to the boat as well. And that processor is basically improving the quality of that data and giving you the stability and the accuracy that you want when you're a, from a performance uh, aspect and you're, you're, you know, you're sailing and you're, you're aiming at sailing this boat at a quite a, quite a narrow wind angle to the boat, the, the apparent wind angle and the true wind angle, you know, to get the best out of the boat, it's, you need to be fairly accurate. Mm -hmm. And that's what the, that process is doing. It's giving you accurate and stable information but it's also telling you what that target angle is, and that's coming from a, a polar. And that polar is what describes the performance of the boat in different wind conditions. It's telling you, telling the system what the best angle is for this wind, wind speed, and, and it's telling you what the target boat speed you should be achieving. So when you combine those two bits of information, you've got your live actual data, comparing that against what your theoretical target should be, you've then got something to aim for and um, and hopefully that guides you in getting the best out of the boat and whilst you're out sailing. Yeah, you know, this isn't the long range 52, this is the 52 performance. So they're going a little bit less for the stability and spaciousness and a bit more for a hull that can cut through the water and I guess people who are looking to sail a bit more sportively, right? Yeah. I, not I, necessarily to compete, but certainly they want to get the most out of the boat when they get on board. They're looking to have fun with it, right? Yeah. Pick I up mean, some speed and... I can imagine a boat like this, you're going to be using it for cruising and racing. Mm. Um, and when you're out racing, then there's a whole host of features within the B&G system that aid racing. Um, but at the same time, there's a, a lot of information is also useful for when you're out cruising. Again, like you say, if you're cruising, you're, you're, you're thinking you still want to sail in a, a safe, efficient manner, but you also want the performance out of the boat. 
um, and there's a lot of information on the system that's, that's guiding you and helping you there to, to get the best out of the boat. Particularly in the lighter winds when you're trying to get the boat to move faster and you know, when there's wind it's easy to make a boat go there's relatively fast but when there's lighter winds then that can be that's when it can get tricky at times getting the best out of the boat. But this might be one of those days where you wake up and you're having your coffee you have a look at the wind history and you say hmm yeah and that's maybe where, not that's and that's where you know the visualizing the data is is great because I can see here exactly how often the gusts are coming through how high the gusts are and that's going to make you know give me an option to make a decision whether we go sailing or not the oh, I, I see so instead of looking okay the wind is so many knots right now you can look back and say mm, is it peaking over dangerous the, yeah speeds? well is the trend increasing because ah. we might be in the marina and deciding that this is a an okay day but if the trend is is increasing then we look at the wall so look at the compare that to the forecast and if the forecast is saying it's going to increase as well then again that's the point where you're like okay you know is it beyond our limits of sailing this boat the the Triton Edge process has got the ability to log everything on the boat. So it can record everything from the wind to your heading to your boat speed, the depth. Um, even if you've got load cells on the rigging, we can record that as well. So effectively you create a digital logbook of what's been going on and all your record of all your sailing over the past year, two years, three years, you can have that all stored within the Triton Edge. And then you can look back and use that, you know, and if you're cruising, it's a great feature because you've got a, effectively a history of all your cruising and where you've been and what the average wind speed was, um, how many hours you've been motoring or how, versus how many hours you've been sailing upwind or downwind. So you can get some, as a cruiser, you can get some quite nice insights into how you sail your boat, how you use your boat and, and where. But then from a performance aspect, if you're trying to get the best out of the boat whilst racing, then you can use that data to your advantage to see where you can improve your boat speed, your, your sailing, your upwind angles, your downwind angles. Because you can look at that data and go, well, theoretically, I should be achieving a faster boat speed whilst in 10 knots of wind. Mm -hmm. But my data log is telling me that we're not quite achieving that. So maybe I need to make changes to my sails, change the way we sail the boat. So you can get more, you know, sort of start to understand a little bit how, how to improve the boat and whether that's something that uh, is easily done or, or, you know, requires a bit more, a bit more technical input. Mm. So it takes the mystery out of small improvements. So you, yeah. you can, because yeah. it's hard to say, oh, I think we're doing about 10 knots. Yeah. But with a system like this, you can, you know how much you can expect from the boat and you know if you're living up to that potential or undershooting it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you can, yeah, start to you do your start, diagnostics, start to make adjustments and then, and then look at, and look and see if that, that's made an improvement. Or not. But yeah. And then at that point, you know, you're getting into really honing in onto the performance of the boat, which you know, with a boat like this is something that you, you'll be keen to do at some point. Right. Yeah, I can tell that it's a it's a real uh, a crossover in a way where there's, you can see it's totally comfortable here and you mm. can have a family completely happy to be here, relaxing, they have everything they want. But if the if there's a real sailor in the family, they're going to be happy too. Yeah, and I mean, the, the satisfaction you get as a sailor of getting the best out of the boat is, mm -hmm. you know, is why you go sailing, it's why you buy a performance boat like this, is to, to be able to go sailing and get the best out of it. And, and to do that, you do need the assistance of some electronics, which is giving you, you know, the information you need to, to make those decisions and get the best out of it.